the United States of America. I would go as far as to say that America is the greatest nation that's ever been on the planet. And there's two simple reasons for that. Number one, our forefathers knew what it took to have a blessed nation. They knew that if they were going to build a great nation, that it would have to be built on a solid, firm, and true foundation. And that foundation that they built on was the Word of God. If you'll do your research, there was a few presidents that did not even profess to be a born-again believer, but they knew what it took to have a strong, great, blessed nation, and that was to build on a solid foundation, which is the Word of God. Number two reason that we're so blessed, America is responsible for spreading the gospel in, over the entire globe. America is responsible for sending more missionaries out to the world to preach the gospel than any other nation in history. But in this day and age, our title would better fit us as being called the divided states of America. Never in American history have we been more divided than we are now. And do you know why that is? Because we have chipped away at that foundation for the last 60 years or so. Steadily chipping away at the Word of God, removing this and removing that, just gradually. And when you remove the foundation from a, from a, from a building, that building cannot stand. When you remove the foundation of our great nation, that nation can't stand. The Bible says in Amos 3, verse 3, Can two walk together except they be agreed? Psalms 133, verse 1, the Bible says, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. 1 Corinthians 1, verse 10, Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. How do you become one in the same mind? How do you become unified? We don't do it by opinions. Everybody has an opinion. It's been said that opinions are like armpits. Everybody has a couple and they all smell. We don't go on our feelings. We don't go on our emotions. We don't go on our own thought process because, like I said, everybody has opinions and some of them are going to be close to right. Some of them are going to be totally wrong. So we must go on something that is true, something that is solid, something that is sure, and that is the Word of God. We're all going to disagree on things, but we all need to be adult enough to realize when it comes to truth that we agree to disagree and go with the truth. Go with what God says. That's the only way to be right. That's the only way to be a nation blessed by God. But we've gone on opinions and feelings, and again, we've chipped away at that foundation in so many different ways. We have legalized what God calls abortion. We have made it legal to m commit murder from the womb. That cannot go unpunished. I believe we are facing the judgments. And it all started when we began to remove the foundational truth of the Word of God. America's a little over 200 years old, but for the last 60 years or so, steadily chipping away, chipping away at the sure, solid, true foundation. I mentioned that we all have opinions. I've said that, but there's right and there's wrong. That's it. Right has always been right, and wrong will always be wrong. You can't change that. What if, for, I used, used to use this illustration all the time, what if Everybody in the whole wide world wanted two and two to be five. You say it can't happen. It's not possible. It won't add up because two plus two is four. That's right. But what if everybody's opinion that two plus two should be five? Well, it's wrong. It just will not figure out and won't add up. Same thing with the Word of God. What if everybody wants sin to be right and to try to change a few things, fix a few things to adjust to the flesh? Well, it won't line up because on Judgment Day, right is still right and wrong is still wrong. The only way we'll ever be a great nation, the only way we'll ever be united is if we'll repent of all our sin, rebuild our nation on the foundation of the Word of God and nothing else. If the Word of God says it's true, go with it. If the Word of God says don't do that, shun it. That's the only way to be right. That's the only way to be true. And that's the only way to be blessed by God. The Bible says in Psalm 33, 12, 
Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. I had a wonderful life. Great home life. A great nation to grow up in. But since I was a kid, there has been so many changes. I want my kids, your kids, our kids, our grandkids to grow up in the same blessed nation that you and I had the glory of growing up in. But if it keeps going like it's going, it's not going to it's not going to happen. We have removed the foundation of the word of God and America is crumbling. We're in a mess. Say what you want to say. We are in a mess. And the only way to fix it is to put the foundation back under the building. Get it built back up on there like it needs to be. And America can be great. And we truly can have a blessed nation. And once again, we could be called the United States of America. Thank you for tuning us in. That's all the time I have for today. This has been A Word from the Woods. And until next time, may the Lord bless you.